Cheers. Welcome back from your spring break. I don't know how much of a spring break it felt like, but um, I hope you at least had some opportunity to rest and spend some time with your family, do something creative. Who knows in this time? I hope you're making the best of it. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what we're going to be doing this week. So I'm going to be reading it off my computer if I look a little funny. I just want to make sure that I'm giving you all the right information. So this week we're going to keep moving on in As I Lay Dying. Um, and we're going to talk specifically about existentialism and how Faulkner is a pretty existentialist writer. And this is his piece that really cements that. Um, and then we're going to engage in some high-level discussions about the text, using textual evidence to reinforce your ideas. So the discussions are going to take off a little bit this week, and I will highly suggest that you do not wait until Friday to get your first discussion post in, because you are going to want to engage in conversation with the rest of your class. So um, we have three activities for you this week, technically two, or I'm sorry, technically four. Wow. Wow. Um, the first thing that you're going to be doing is just a weekly check for me. Um, I just want to see how you're doing. I want to get a pulse on how you're feeling and how life has been for you. And I would love to know if there's anything I can do to help support you. Additionally, I think it's important to pause and consider what's happening and to really reflect on ourselves and how we're feeling. So, um, wanted to give you some short writing practice there. If you keep it light and you really don't want to engage with it and you just answer the questions, answer them, that's fine. But if you find that that forum opens up an opportunity for you to write about how you're feeling or what's going on in the world, use it. I would be really honored. Um, I know that's something that really helps me when I'm feeling a lot of anxiety. Um, the next thing that we have is another lecture. We're talking about existentialism, the philosophy of existentialism. Um, it's, it's an interesting one, that's for sure. And I'm gonna have you listen to that lecture and take notes again in still in that checkpoint one, just in the next box. So you guys don't have to submit it for feedback every time. Um, that won't be until the very end. I'll just go on and check it, but you guys have been doing a good job so far on that. So thank you for being awesome. Um, and then finally, you're going to have two discussions this week. So we're going to have a discussion on debriefing Addie's death. Um, and then we're going to have a discussion on the ambiguity of Dar bon Darl Bundren. You guys have already started to pick up on how he's kind of a weirdie. And so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, you only have to respond with your own post. And then you have to respond with um, to one other student. Now, if you want to respond more, yes, please. The idea is that this is replacing our class discussion. So I would love for you guys to get engaged, but I also don't want to overburden you with so many assignments that you're just trying to tread water in this weird time. So keep that in mind. Um, and then I do need you to read pages 85 through 109. So if you're using the online text, that's from where Vardaman left off saying cooked and et to when Darl says he breaks off a branch and scours at the stain with the wet leaves. Um, I have the online text there. This is all on that first page in my folder for online class assignments 413 through 417. And then of course my Google Hangout links are on there. Come in and see me during office hours. I would love to know how you're doing. Um, but that's all we've got for this week. You do not need to do the reading of 58 through 109 to complete the rest of these assignments. So you can do the assignments first and then read and you would be just fine. Okay. I got you guys started. So we're ready to keep moving forward and you're always just gonna have the reading tacked on to the end. Um, miss you all. I hope that you are doing everything you can to make the best of this. Remember that one of the best things that we can do is consider how we can give to other people. And that is something that will fill our buckets in a hard time. So look around your family and see who you can pour into. And I will look forward to hearing from you this week. Have a great day. Bye.